Welcome to the final part of the Mega Man X playthrough at long last. Okay, we're going to be climbing up this vertical shaft. Occasionally moving to the left or right because there are enemies coming out of those holes. Up we go. There she is! The final room. Here is Ekma. Welcome! I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. <laughs> yeah, boy, but I still got an enemy. I could destroy you, but I wouldn't have bought my pet of that pleasure. He knows how to deal with betrayers. <laughs> Should you live, I will be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, X. <laughs> I still have no idea why I always give Sid for that voice. Maybe it's because of X4, I don't know. Well, then again, before I did play X4, I did play to Make Man X2. I did kind of take to Make Man X2 and. Now I'm commenting to the third one. Sigma comes back. Excellent job, X. I see why Zero counted on you. You are almost as good as good a hunter as I am. But the time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret for having defied me. Sorry, I got stuck on that word there. <coughs> he smokes too, don't worry. Okay, so here is round one of Sigma. Sigma sure does like to use the, uh. Spire? I don't know what exactly call it a spire jump, but he does like to jump on walls. He does shoot out beams out of his. Forehead gem, something that he never utilizes most week because I guess he tried this and that, and most of the time that never really works. He also likes to use this little beam sword thing there. I tried to use the Dugan on to. How come that didn't work? How come that doesn't work either? <laughs> that was a direct hit. I guess he was in the middle of his attack and he was starting his. Attacking. How come that's not attacking? Uh, attacking. Of course it's attacking, but how come it's not hanging? Like it should. Kinda wanna give this a try. Actually, on a no cheap run, I actually didn't make it this far. But Sigma always gave me the most trouble. Not his final form, this form specifically. Yeah, I can defeat all the other Mavericks just as easily. As long as I have infinite wives on. So I suppose you could say that was a no infinite health run. But, for some odd reason, I always had trouble with Sigma, no matter what. If I defeat the dog, Sigma destroys me. If I destroy the dog, the dog, the, uh... Uh, the Hadouken. He still destroys me, no matter what. No matter what I do. I don't know if it's because I'm trying to save my sub tanks for the actual final boss or what. But for some odd reason, I couldn't seem to defeat him. Okay, with Sigma's head still alive, because that's why where the Sigma fire is still located at, he now goes to this brand new body. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final boss fight of of Mega Man X1. Those hands shoot out electric electric currents as well as the mouth shooting out electric balls of energy. And he also comes with a flamethrower. This guy, along with these not so instant death spikes, but claws. Is hanging with everything he has got.
Not only that, but the hands themselves have touch damage. So, uh, <laughs> try to do your best to hit this guy. His only weakness, as far as I know of, is the rolling shield, amongst all things. Then again, I'm looking at my favorite Make Man classic Make Man game of all time, which is Make Man 3, and the final weakness of that final boss is one top spin. I've tried everything. The only weapon I know of that can damage this version of Sigma is the Warming Shield. Perhaps a uh, charge shot, but that's like about it. Ow. Well, he's almost dead. And there we go. Well, also the Warming Shield does take out a lot of health, so I suppose you could say about that. <coughs> It's not possible! I'm a rare point! I can't be destroyed by you! Why, Axe? Why have you done this to us? By us, you mean by the rare point? Uh, that's a different story. Without the humans, my rare point brothers could have a shit in a new age! Boom! You better get out there, Axe. You know, with the castle thing, uh, S kind of... I suppose not really castle thing, yeah. Well, Sigma's fortress goes down three damn hard. Now it creates a big bang. <laughs> oh, what the test. The test. <laughs> What's Sigma the fear? True or false? False. <laughs> the war has ended for now, and peace has been restored. But those who sacrificed themselves for the victory will never return. Quan Quo return. <clears throat> Exhausted. X gazes at the destruction he helped cause, and wonders why he was. Why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Probably not. Standing on the cliff. Ooh, well, my headphones are picking up the drums on the right side of my headset. Standing on the cliff, the answers seem to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds, the, finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the x buster on his hand knows for sure. How long will it last? Well, take a look at Mega Man Zero One, and you'll see. At least the ending portion of it. Wow, it's... Very weird how the drums are on the right side of my headset, but yeah, on the left side, it's everything else. And that's it! That's Mega Man X1 finally done. Sheesh! Now we got the rolling credits of. Of the enemies of Big Man X1, sooner or later we're going to end up with the bosses. Ugh, this game is fantastic. It truly is. It's really fun to play. But when when it comes to the but when it comes to trying to watch everything twice. Perhaps three times, depending on whether or not I fucked up a lot, it kind of wears you out. It kind of wears you out. I love Mega Man X. Truly, I do. The character, character Zero, most definitely character, uh, the Zero character. I mean, I like, 
I like the game. I love the game. Just not like this. Just not like why I had to put up with having to play it through it twice, having to record the audio three times. It's just massive. I'm I'm just kind of sick of it. It truly is a good game. The graphics are great. The, the new mechanics are great. It was most definitely innovative for the Mega Man Zero series as at time. We'll get to Mega Man Zero eventually, but after all, my top favorite Mega Man Zero game out of the entire series was Mega Man Zero One. I played the shit out of that. Whew. But Mega Man X1, I say both Mega Man X1 and X2 are just fantastic. Music-wise, will probably be Mega Man X1. And you, as Mega Man X. Any day now, we should get the actual credits here. There we go! Now we got the actual credits with what sounds like elevator music. Ugh. To me, I just... I adore the game. I really do. But not like this. Not after the trouble I put up with. There's only so much Mega Man X I can have in my system. And right now, I'm just drained. I am just drained out of my systems here. Probably won't get to Mega Man X3 for a very long time. Trust me, I probably won't. Mega Man X4, oh god, I tried one of the Mavericks in that game. Might take me forever to do that. I have to practice the shit out of that boss. Or at least that level in particular. X5, I'll eventually get to it. Thanks for playing, Persona by Capcom. <sighs> but yeah. Get this game if you can. Get on an emulator. Get on the Make Me an X collection. If you have the money for it, I'm pretty sure it's selling for like 300 bucks at the least. Get the original cartridge, too. Get this game however you can, and play it. It's it's a really fun time playing through this game. It really is. With all that said, I am Sir06. Thank you for watching. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. have won a temporary victory, X! What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains intact. In time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bedding, and I will return. I shall see you soon, X. Very soon. <coughs> oh. Wait a second, I'm a virus. How can I die? What the hell?